What's up, everybody? Welcome back. This isn't in the camera. Welcome back to uh, Gotham City Collectibles Part 2 of the Classic TV Series. So we're going to go over the second part, and at the end of this, stay tuned till the end because there's a huge surprise at the end. So um, who are we starting with today, sir? Give me a second. So out of order. Today. Oh. Perfect. Riddler. Riddler. Awesome. So we got the Riddler here. I'm supposed to be showing it off. <laughs> Give it. Here you go. Like I said in the last part, uh, when we said that there was no child abuse shown, there is Funko abuse, apparently. Yeah. I suck at, I suck at handling Funkos, as you can tell. Okay, so uh, the Riddler was played by Frank Gorshin. Um, a little bit about Frank he was a great Riddler. He actually did a song called The Riddler, um, which was pretty neat. I didn't know that until I was reading into him a little bit. A um, little controversy with him, too. Um, if you guys know who John Aston is, from he played Gomez in The Addams Family. He uh, ended up having to take over for Frank because Frank was... Asking for more money, exactly like five thousand dollars per show. So that's equivalent to like thirty-eight thousand, thirty-nine thousand these days. Um, so they're like, well, we're not gonna pay that. So he ended up being out for a while, and then apparently they came to some understanding, and now we got uh Frank back in there. So that's a little bit about Frank. So next. I'm trying to figure out who thought, how he thought that was fair pay when Batman was getting paid 500 per episode. Yeah, I don't know if it was more down the line and they were starting to get paid more, but maybe I know 500 and, and 350 but, is what they were getting paid in the beginning. Well, who yeah. knows? But riddle me this, Batman. If quizzes are quizzical, then what are tests? Uh, testicles? Oh, God. Oh, shit. <laughs> you uh, made me say testicles. I did it again. But anyway, uh, for anyone who doesn't know, that's kind of a little meme that we uh, that we found uh, while we were scrolling trying to figure out what to use for the sound on the YouTube shorts. So uh, that's here's the chase. That's the chase. I like the chase better because he's got a hat. He's got the hat. He's all decked out. So that's Mr. Frank Gorshin, people. All right, who we got next? Besides Bad boy himself. Oh, God. Mr. Chunk. Mr. Chunk. There's already somebody called Mr. Chunk. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, he's from the Goonies. Interesting. Mr. Chunk. Yeah, you might want to watch it sometime. Um. So, anyway, Probably Penguin. Not. Uncultured swine. <laughs> Speaking of fatties. Anyway, um, Penguin. Oh, my God. I'm going to start leaving him in the protector soon. Um. Probably Penguin idea. was played by Burgess Meredith, which, if you don't know, he actually did play in Rocky. He played in uh, Grumpy Old Men. But uh, Burgess Meredith played the Penguin. Um, cool fact about him was he stopped smoking like 20, 25 years before he played the Penguin. Um, and he was required to smoke if he was taken apart. So the... Uh, the quacky noise that you hear during during the TV show when he when he's like, rah, 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 you know, that was actually him coughing because he was taking in too much smoke and he couldn't hold it in. So that was pretty interesting. I, I didn't know that, but um, he was a pretty cool guy. Very. I like the, the way they did the pop, too. He's got got his little his that umbrella and yeah. uh, he's got the monocle, which the monocle is really awesome. Um, I really like that. So, anything you like about the pot, or is it just I mean, chubby? It's penguin. Everybody loves the penguin. So. Right, but you know who the best penguin was? Danny DeVito. Duh. Right. Don't but, even. No, not today, sir. We're not, we're not yeah. biting people's noses. All right. It could be gushing blood. Right. All right. Who's really next? Did. Well, you said penguin was a cool guy, but we have the man, the myth, the legend himself, Mister Ice. Mr. Freeze. Crap. Uh, 
Um, we're going to do this every time, okay? The little DC Legion of Collectors thing slid out of his butt. Oh, <laughs> nasty. <laughs> um, so, anyway, that's the one with the dome on the head. So, this one is, is a little weird because it was played... He was played by uh, George Sanders, I want to say. I really believe it's George Sanders. But he was also played by two other people, which I don't remember their names. But um, in this version, it was George Sanders. And they had a really hard time with um, the helmet. When they, when they did the helmet, they didn't think about the microphone. They didn't think about how he was going to speak. Um, so they really dubbed over what he said. Um, because of the helmet um, with the other two actors they ended up taking and putting these little things around his neck and they had like little sprays of of like mist that was supposed to be like ice and, and really cold air and things so that because in this version it wasn't anything about like cryogenics or anything like that they didn't even go into that it was more of a he had an accident accident and um he ended up having to be pretty much frozen the whole time so that's a little bit about george sanders and mr freeze and who's next um the one who wanted deeper pay oh boy here we go here we go this is batgirl batgirl was introduced kind of to give um more of a equality for the tv show she she was the woman that was more of a superhero. She was played by Yvonne Craig, um, which when I looked up Yvonne and how to spell it, I was I was behooved. I had no idea. But anyway, um, she did do a little bit about um, equality and how everybody should be paid equally and things back in the 60s. And it was a, it was a big thing back then. Um, I really liked her character. She was pretty cool. Um, she did all her own stunts, pretty much. Most of them she did. The Bat Girl um, had her own Bat Cycle. Um, she rode that by herself. She did all that herself. She was a, a motorcycle enthusiast. So, I'm she... Gauzy Poppin. Uh, Paul uh, either A, uploaded at the wrong time, or scheduled his video to upload at the wrong time because... He, uh, He's in Australia. He's a day ahead. I know, but still. Saturday, Saturday Friday. He should have that. Not for his people. It's still Saturday. But yeah. anyway, next. King Tut can come King Tut. There's not really a lot about King Tut to tell. He's ugly. Um, <laughs> meme you right with a smack. <laughs> That's child abuse. It's illegal. It's okay. As many times as you abused my Funko Pops. Um, <laughs> so, King Tut was, uh, I think, in four episodes. But um, he was a humongous guy. Um, he was 6'4". He had a chest size of 62 inches. Um, his name was, well, his his. The guy that played it, his name was Victor Bono, or Bono, or Bono. Look at the camera. Um, what? I said, look at the camera. You're looking in the wrong direction. Anyway. You're still looking in the wrong direction. Anyway. There you go. All right. Anyway. Thanks. I've been looking the wrong way the whole time. Yeah. But anyway, it's fine. Um, Victor Bono. He was, like I said, he was six foot four and had a 64 inch chest. Um, very huge man. They kept yards and yards of material there to make his costume because he was such a big man. It, it took so much. Um, to put in perspective, so you guys can kind of, I guess, get, get a vision for how big he is. If you know wrestling, you know the WWE. Um, he was the same size as the big show, big man, very big man. Um, so that, that's a little bit about him. That's something you can, can take and compare him to because he, he really didn't have that much of a character in the TV show, but 
that was something I learned about him that was pretty awesome. So I like how he's ugly. You like how he's ugly? No, I say he probably didn't have much of a character because he's ugly. Well, what if I put you in a movie? You wouldn't have much of a character either, Cindy Lopper. Well, maybe you would. You could <laughs> sing. But so that's the rest of that set, right? Except for the big show. Oh, I mean, the big boy. Uh, yeah, but before we get into that, last part, we talked about the, uh, my channel with my, with one of my Funkos, and here's the other one that I was, that I'm showing. It's Venomized Doctor Strange, Spider-Man, Maximum Venom. Very nice. Uh, in this one, it's kind of his meditating state, except, uh, the way it's set up, the cape holds him up. So it still looks like he's floating or levitating. Uh, but I do a lot of Venom related content and some gaming content. Um, so be sure to check and out. And if you channel. want more information on uh, my channel, check out the first part because I'm too lazy to repeat it. There you go. And we'll put his information in the description. Maybe. I don't know. No, I'm lazy. I will because I fix everything afterwards. Yeah, usually he does. So I make sure we're good to go. But um, so this is something not a lot of people know that even exists. Um, Due to the fact that it was only, there only it was a limited piece. So 700 pieces total. Is this the right way here? No, it's upside down. No, 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 it's not upside down now. OK, I don't even know if we're going to get this in the frame. The answer is you can kind of see his eyes. You can't see his ear ears, though. Here. There you go. So this is the Funko Shop exclusive 700 piece 1966 Batman. And I'll repeat what you just said because I'm not sure if you guys were going to be able to hear it. This is the Funko Shop exclusive 700 piece 1966 18 inch Batman. Yes. So here, you want to put that over there, please? Yeah. And I. I'm that. not taking him completely out of this box, so y'all are going to have to look from afar. Okay. Oh, we can do this. All right. We can? Here we go. So here he is. Face him toward the camera. There you go. There he is. All of his glory in the I box. Called, I called Penguin Chunky, but this is the real chunk. This is the real chunker. Um, If you go to my Instagram, which I'll link... Also, down in the bottom, you can take a, a sneak peek. I have a video of me and him opening this when we first got him. Like so three years ago. Yeah, yeah, it's been quite a while. I got him for a good price. Right now, he's ridiculous. I don't even know. He keeps bouncing between eight hundred and a thousand, but I really don't care because he's not leaving my collection, and I really like it. So yeah, I think someone could offer ten grand, and I probably wouldn't get rid of it. Well, I might because I just buy. I'd buy a new one and right. uh, and then buy yourself get more stuff. Batman. There you go. All right, let's set that over there. Um, I'll set it over here. Yeah, here's the lid piece. You just throw it over there. It's fine. It's not gonna get hurt. Hey, I can't <laughs> see what happened. <laughs> so, but you were you were blessing. I couldn't see before. I know. Shut up. But anyway, we'd like to thank you for coming again. Uh, and um, remember to pow that damn like button. Damn. Did you just say damn like button? <laughs> Good Lord have mercy. Um, uh, you just shut your light off. Oh, no. Your light ran out. My light ran out. Ah! The sky is falling. Well, we're going to do the rest in the dark because I can't get to the light. But everybody, thank you for coming, commenting, subscribing. And um, be sure to comment. Oh, you know what? It came unplugged. Oh, no. Well, thanks for coming. It's Pow the, the dark like night. Button. Pow the like button. Slam the subscribe button. And throw a battering at the notification bell. Good job. Later, guys. See ya! The dark night rises. If I could flip the end.